Tonight, we aim to foster constructive conversations about race-related issues in Philadelphia. The story begins with a white man visiting his son, a Temple University student, in the neighborhood just west of Temple. Author of the contentious article, Robert Huber, says it is a community many white Philadelphians would rather not exist. What we want to look at is how white people relate to black people in the inner city, or don't relate to them. So out of that idea, of that, that thinking, this idea uh, evolved into going to a white neighborhood that's near a largely African-American one to get some feel of the beat of life there and what white people there were thinking. Temple University alumnus Solomon Jones says he was insulted. I was offended on, a ma on many levels because I lived in the neighborhood around Temple University at 20th and New York because I lived in the neighborhood around Brewery Town at 25th and Oxford, because I went to Temple University. Some people think the problem boils down to bad journalism. In a letter to the Philadelphia Commission on Human Relations, Mayor Michael Nutter calls the article a pathetic, uninformed essay. This audience member, who is a journalist, agrees. What you have written, which out of Journalism 101, you never use an anonymous source. But Philadelphia Magazine editor and panel moderator Tom McGrath says the magazine stands by its decision to tackle the topic. It's, it's created an interesting conversation within the magazine as well as obviously outside the magazine too. And not everybody found the story offensive. I think it was written from one side. I don't think it was written to be controversial. I don't think it is controversial. I think it is what it is. Some thought it was simply confusing. We'll mix up race with culture, with socioeconomics. And this article was really um, a real expression of that um, confusion that people have. Dr. Walter Palmer says racism permeates American society. He says first and foremost, whites and blacks need to be honest with each other. Black people talk about white people like a doll behind your back. Don't shit. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. That truth outraged many. Tom McGrath offered an apology of Those sorts. People, I'd like to say, I'm sorry. I don't regret that we took on the topic, but hurt feelings were certainly never our intention at all. Reporting for Temple Update, I'm Kate Lavender.